First off, I'd like to thank Richard Miles and his YouTube channel for finding this video with the camera angle that completely undermines what Michelle Fields said. I'm adding this spliced edit to my video. I would like for you to go to Richard Miles' YouTube channel and watch it for yourself because he does bring up other facts that uh, I can't put on here. Just my video will be way too long. But it definitely is an interesting video and he deserves a lot of credit. What I'm about to show you is his video where Michelle Fields complaining she got manhandled by Trump associate Corey Lewandowski. Take a look and judge for yourself. Seriously, that is what this hoopla is all about. Now I'll show you the interview that she did with Megyn Kelly. It be a big deal. They were going to apologize. We would move on. Uh, but I never got that apology. Instead, yesterday, uh, they released a statement calling me a liar. Uh, they have basically done a character assassination on me. They're linking to blogs with conspiracies about me. Uh, and they're not telling the truth. There's videos. There's pictures. There's an eyewitness of a Washington Post reporter who is very credible. And no, they seem to not understand statements continue to say there's no eyewitnesses, there's no pictures, there's no videos. They continue to lie. The Washington Post reporter who witnessed this incident and backs you up, do you know him? Did you know him before this, Ben Terrace? I did. Uh, I have, uh, you know, seen him at events in Washington, D.C. I'm not a close friend. He was there, though, because he was doing a story on Corey, a profile for the Washington Post. So he was actually trying to get to Corey to talk to him about uh, their meeting. And I was going to Trump to ask him about, um, I was asking about affirmative action and uh, the Supreme Court Justice late Scalia. Let me ask um, you this. Because w w in, the in the audio tape of the incident that was released before the videotape, there's an exchange between you and Ben Terrace of the Washington Post where you ask him, was that Corey? And he says, yes, that was Corey. And there was an initial report in the Daily Beast that you weren't sure initially whether it was Corey. You didn't know whether it might be a Secret Service agent. Was there confusion on your part? Well, when someone grabs me, I assumed it was a Secret Service agent. I would never, ever think that someone in a campaign would grab someone like that. When, when it happened, I thought maybe there's some sort of threat because it just wasn't a chaotic scene where someone would need to grab me to the point that I actually have, you know, his handprint on my arm. Uh, so I turned around and I asked uh, Ben, which is in the audio, was that Corey? And he said yes. And then I turned uh, back around quickly and I saw Corey walking out with uh, Donald Trump. So did you actually lay eyes on the person who did it? I can say that I did not see it until I turned around. So I didn't see it because I was in the back. He came up from behind and grabbed me. So I can't say that I saw it for sure. But. I mean, I saw him as I turned around. He's walking out Donald Trump, and there's a Washington Post reporter. There's no reason to not believe this Washington Post reporter. Uh, you know, Trump is trying to say that there's some sort of conspiracy. We're talking about news in the Washington Post. The idea that we are working together or something is just absurd, and I don't understand how people can believe that. So Corey Lewandowski has come after you in the wake of this, and, and Donald Trump has come after you to some extent as well. Lewandowski called you an attention seeker. He said he's calling BS on you. Uh, he came out and said you're totally delusional. He never touched you. And then Donald Trump had this to say about the incident last night. Listen. Absolutely nothing happened. He didn't hear about it until like the next day. So I'm, I wasn't involved in it, but the Secret Service was surrounding everybody. They said nothing happened. Everybody said nothing happened. Perhaps he made the story up. I think that's what happened. Okay. I will show you this new camera angle one more time. Anyways, Megyn Kelly did nothing wrong. She just invited the guest on to give her side of the story, which apparently wasn't very truthful. So I hope on Monday she does a follow-up to the story and help clarify this new evidence.